Hey there, welcome back to another video about Kotlin for beginners. In today's lesson, we are going to see the logical operators so we can work with if and else and while loops and everything. All right, so let's get started. So to get started with Kotlin operators or Kotlin logical operators, because we saw Kotlin arithmetic operators in previous videos, let's pretend we have an if and else. Let's have an if. And in this if we want to do something, we want to compare something. First thing to do is usually to compare values. So let's say we want to compare if 5 is equal to 5. We do here double equals, okay? Double equals and we, we put it like that. So Kotlin or NTDJ will write something like a long equal here. But the reality there is two equals, okay? Something like that, okay? So I don't know why Kotlin or NTDJ is making it like that. Okay, so we can print something true, otherwise let's print false. Okay, no, print false. Okay, let's run it. And as you can see, it will print like that. Let's say if you want to check that 5 does not equal to 5, we will, we will put exclamation mark like that and an equal. So Kotlin will transform it like that. Let's delete everything. Exclamation mark and an equal. So Kotlin or IntelliJ will put this sign. Okay? But the reality, there is an exclamation like that and an equal. There is no such space. Okay? Let's run it. If 5 doesn't equal to 5, we will print what? False. Because 5 does equal 5. Alright? Uh, if you want to compare bigger or smaller, you can use this is the bigger sign. And this is the smaller sign, I think. Yes, this one. And there is also you can compare compare smaller or equal. No, like that. Small or equal. So we put it this following but equal. Okay? Smaller than following by equal. Not the inverse. It's not like that. Okay? First one. And as you can see, in J we put this sign. So it is smaller or equal. Same thing for bigger or equal. You can put the big following by the equal sign, all right? So this is the basics for to compare numbers, bigger and smaller. You can also compare logical results using the and, not, and the or, all right? So let's say I have, I, I'm, let's say I want to combine two conditions. If this happen and if something else, if the seven is smaller than three, okay? This, let's say this will work correctly. Equal will work correctly. And this won't work. Okay. To combine them, you can use the AND. The AND is use these two ANDs. Okay. And AND will mean the AND, the logical AND. So this will print false. Okay. Why? Because this is true and this is false. And AND will work only if the, both parties are correct, are true. All right, you can use the or, you can use the two bars like that. And if you run it, it will print true. Why? Because, because the or require one part of the logical expression to be true. All right, you can also use the not, let's say this one, and we want the not of this one. So the inverse. So let's say I want the and like that. As you may know, this will produce false, okay? But I want to turn this into true. Well, you can use parentheses first for this, and you can append it with an exclamation mark, like that. And this will work correctly, okay? So this is how you can do the not, and the and, and the or, okay? The final things to note about Kotlin, there is more operations called referential equality. This is called structural equality. Let's say we have val a equal an integer, a new integer, integer five, and we have a b of five. Okay, and let's say if a equal to b, print this one. Otherwise, print this one. Let's run it, and as you can know, it will print true. Why? Because a contains the value of five and B contain the value of five. But in object-oriented things, this object and this object are not the same. 
they do reference two distinct objects in the memory. All right, so to do this kind of thing, you have to add another equal. So it will be three equals. Kotlin is using this three lines, but the reality there is this and this and this. Okay, now if you run it, it will print what? It will print false because they are not equal. Okay, let's say I give value of C. Let's get it from the A. So C and A will reference the same object. If I do C equal to A like that, this will print true. Okay, because they do reference the same object in the memory. This is the referential equality. You can do also not two equals. This will mean not equal referential thing. Okay, so let's say if A and B are not the same like that. Let's start with the B. A and B are A and B not the same object. It will print what? It will print true. If A and C are not the same object, but they are the same object, it will print false. It will print false. So this is the logical operators you can use in Kotlin. You can use it with if and else and also with while loops. Okay, thank you very much for joining us in this video and see you in the next videos.